What up, my friends? Hello, greetings, salutations. I am a sicko. <laughs> All right. Before we uh, before we start here, let me share the live stream link. Have a little sip of my tea, my peppermint tea. trim down the thumbnail in the discord so it looks like his man is a sicko oh all right all right that's good okay let me uh, uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move the mic a little bit closer to me i don't know like how loudly i'm coming in but i can't yell i can't i can't do the loud i can't like the stream that we did on friday or whatever I was destroyed after it, man, because I'm genuinely sick. You can see I got my little humidifier going on, but I wanted to come and hang out for a bit because I like doing this. This is fun. So I am unfortunately under the weather. Let's do our hellos. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? All right. Are we doing all right here? I don't know what's going on with the microphone. Does that make any difference? Does that make any difference? It's not that one over there. It's this one. Yeah. Okay. All right, just had to double check because I can't tell. All right, what up, Gianna, Kensuke, Ang, Gossett, Ned, Potts, TMSQ, Teferi, Jogan, Picard, uh, Jeffrey, Millmaster, Zircon, Plaid, Doomblade, Clayton, Juglum, Artorius, Felonius T. Shelton, Gerthulu. Buck, Google, um, bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-b
And I'm just like, I can't even go, oh, I'm coming. I'll just tell you when I get there. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what's going on with this when it comes to the volume stuff. So I'll have Carly help me with that because she has done that before. She's helped me figure out the volume levels. I'm going to get four loots. It's entirely possible. Google, you had the flu recently and lasted nearly three weeks. Well, that's not going to happen to me, man. I'm taking care of myself, so I'm going to mend up faster. That's the deal. That's why I wasn't around all weekend. And I'm going to keep taking it easy until I'm better. Because otherwise, you just stay sick for so long, man. And I'm not willing to accept the idea of being sick for like three weeks right now. I can't. I was already sick in January for like a month, bro. This isn't as bad. This isn't as bad. Towns, you'll give me a max load. Listen, bro, you couldn't you couldn't fill a thimble with that watered down crap you called jizz. So just step step it off, right? Step off with that shit. The only advantage of your worthless manness, your your sad your sad drippings, is that you can bang your own family and not get them pregnant because you ain't you are not virile. That wasn't the best put together insult, but what are you gonna do? I'm sick. Deal with it. You suck. <laughs> Drink alcohol, it kills germs. Not all of us are alcoholic whores, Maz, right? Not all of us can gargle booze and then dicks to try and fix what, what ails us. Although I would suck a dick to cure this for sure. For sure. If there was the cure in it. Carly says, it's someone streaming. I can barely hear anything from the other room. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was I was saying I was going to get your help with the microphone because I feels like it's got I've got it cranked and I can't even get into the red and I don't know why I can't I can't take it into the red. It makes no sense. It feels like it's cranked. So there's got to be something up with the settings. Jamestown says, no board lords. This man needs medical. Yeah, he he's right. He's right. This might, who knows? Who knows if, what, what, what happens if Jesus decides to take me away after this stream? Are you guys going to let Towns be the last lord of the board? Is that what you want? Oh, this red marker is popping. That's good. All right, James Low T is Lord of the Board. You did it, Jamathan. <laughs> oh, no. This is Carly's dream. It's a it's a break from the loudness of my voice, right? We've been watching a lot of CSI, so maybe uh Maybe Carly's poisoning me. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe she's taken a pencil and she's put Brillo pad on it and she's sticking it down my throat while I'm sleeping to scratch it up. Zircon with the five membership gifted. Nicely done. That's amazing. It leads... Carly saying the dream would be a break from cooking while I'm also sick. Lol, cries and woman. And then right afterwards, gifted a membership by Zircon. Here you go. That's funny. Carly is taking care of me, even though she is uh, also feeling sick. So she's a sweetie. Zircon, you're the member lord, buddy. Thanks for the memberships, bro. <laughs> Clayton says, what a quaint little hat I have. <laughs> uh, Maz, you've been watching a lot of Law & Order S SVU. I always, my brain always changes that to Law & Order SUV, you know? <laughs> um, we watched one episode of Law & Order Criminal Intent. And Buddy in it's a maniac. He's like, he's spraying poison in people's faces and telling them to drink poison. It's amazing. It's amazing. I wanted to rant more about that, but I can't rant about nothing right now. <sighs> 
sandwich. You bought some cards at the LGS. Right on. What'd you get? Dance of the Dead and a Grindstone. Dance of the Dead. That is... Is that the Ice Age one? That's like a black and a one, black and one, and it works similar to Animate Dead, but it gives plus one, plus one, but you have to pay a black and one to untap it during the upkeep, something like that. Robin Williams is in season nine of SVU. Like alive? Or did they just get his corpse with the belt marks on his... That's so wrong. That's so wrong. I really like Robin Williams, but whatever. I make dark jokes, right? When he was on it, was he... Was he belting it out, Maz? This is going to be my last stream since I'm dying, so I may as well get these jokes in now. He was a bad guy? It's hard to believe him as a bad guy, but, you know, I, I believe it. Are the Vault Aftermath cards a separate pack entirely, or do they come in the regular packs in Thunder Junction? Doom Blade, they come in regular packs. Uh, they're available in regular boost stores. But what sucks is that cards that were going to be uncommon from that set, like this card, this was totally going to be an uncommon. There's a cycle, one across all five colors, and you can tell that they're on common level. But they made the mythic, which is just stupid, honestly. I don't even know why they chose to do that. But So yeah, they're in there. They are definitely in there. Bo Falcon uh, says, glad to see you. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks, buddy. At least it doesn't seem as bad as the beginning of the year. It's not. It's not. That was like chills and shaking and I'm dying, you know? That was really rough. Me and Carly were like fully down for the count. It kind of hits me in waves, you know? Feudile rip in peace. Rest in peace in peace. Bro, I appreciate that like... You want me to have double peace. Don't listen to Bow Falcon. That goofy little twink doesn't understand the concept of double peace, right? And when you, if you have a body that has like no, he has no fat on his body, like at all. He has zero, like zero body fat, like zero body fat, none. And that, that'll make you loopy and hateful. So don't listen to him. I take the double in peace and I take that in peace, which makes it triply peaceful triply peaceful this stream is going to be even more of a nightmare for the people who comment afterwards going these streams are too quiet it's like welcome to i can't even be loud town uh what up dj long hair yeah bro i am sick i got i got the hot tea right here i had chicken noodle soup earlier so i'm doing it whoa That was the joke? Oh, I, we, I'm with Bo then, bro. I didn't know you were joking. I just, just like Bo, I thought you were dumb. So I take back everything I said. If you did that on purpose, then I negate everything that I said. Now I hate what you said, Futile. But you lived up to your name, just the first half, not the fun part. Futile, F you. Drop the N. <laughs> Listen, break stop, you ignorant sack of shit. I just fucking said that I can't rant. And you're going to bring up Campbell's? I hope when you're sleeping, somebody jams their, their dick in your mouth and you choke in your sleep, bro. I hope nobody turns you on your side when somebody's like coughing up on like, like heroin or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? You figure it out. Maz, that's what it stands. That's what it stands for for you, you dirty bar whore. <laughs> Pierce, you hope I'm feeling better. Your hope is in vain. I ain't. I ain't. Ralph, it wouldn't be bad that they're mythic if they had pumped up the power. Well, that's the whole point, is that they didn't they printed on commons as mythics. If they were mythic level, why would I even say what I said? Is am I sick or is it other people who are sick and their brains don't work? What's going on? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Jess says, hey, there he is. My prayer to Satan worked. Couldn't you have made a better prayer that got me actually healed, bro? Couldn't you have sacrificed some kids or something? Oh, wait. Yeah, you're a lunatic. Don't do that. Don't don't actually do that, Jess, you fucking wackadoodle. Artoria says, glad to see that even while sick, Hatcher's insults are still full strength. They might be lower. They might be lower volume, but they're never lower intensity.
Yeah, get him, Bo. You delete Millmaster's comments. He ain't going to get me. Oh, what do you do? He timed him out. 60 second timeout for Campbell Soy Ranch, whatever that was. You get what you get. Mess mess with me and get Falcon twinked, bro. Luke, wait, you're hold on. You're you're saying that you bought a commander deck based on another YouTuber's recommendations and then you're you're asking what would I recommend? Well, who cares? You already made your decision and decided whose opinion matters. So coming to me like, here's, here's what I recommend. I recommend you go fuck yourself. How about that? How about that? I ain't no fucking sloppy seconds, bro. Fuck that noise. Pierce, you wish that I'll feel better soon? Well, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, you're broke as fuck, but you can make me a song, give you three sentences. Let's see what happens. DJ Longhair is a broke ass bitch. His music isn't worth an empty ditch. I'd rather get butt fingered by a witch. There you go, buddy. Three sentences of pure gold. I'd tell you that'll be eight bucks, but you're broke. <laughs> you can't imagine perp recommending any commander deck. That's because your imagination sucks. That's all I got left. This is the only thing that's keeping me going, guys. Is smack talking. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. I'm just a fucking... I'm just an empty husk of a man. Like corn, but a man. You know? I got husked. Now you gotta scroll back. Are you complaining about getting what you wanted? Did you literally just ask for that and then complain that you're getting what... What did you think I was gonna do? What the fuck? What? What? Millmaster, 60 seconds went by way too quick. How are you allowed to talk already? Clayton, you got me confused for your mother calling me an old, worn-out hooker. That's your mom banging all the gross lumberjacks down in the woods. She's like... I know you guys like to work the wood, but so do I. Timber my butthole. Uh, I'm going to call you Clayton. The, your mom calls dudes Clayton while she's getting banged by him, bro. Just so you know. Your mom pretends it's you banging her. How's that feel? Probably feels good because you're a weirdo. Buck, you didn't get the corn. You didn't get the nutrition if you didn't pierce the skin, bro. What up, hot dice? Complete and utter sicko. Correct. Correct. That's me. I am a sicko. Whew. Man. But yeah, I like coming and hanging out, man. It's fun. I enjoy it. I miss it when I'm not doing it. I know it was only like two days since we streamed, but I got my limits. <laughs> oh, Luke, don't worry, bro. I wasn't offended at all, man. It should be like, I'm going a, I'm to a let you in on a little secret. If you really offend me for real, you probably won't ever hear me mention it. And if you do a good, a good enough job offending me, You'll never hear me speak to you again. I don't I don't waste my time. So when I'm doing these roasts and stuff, it's all meant in friendship and fun. So if you couldn't pick that up because of my sick tone or whatever, if I'm genuinely pissed off by something or whatever, I don't say shit. Or I become incredibly polite and just end it. You have no idea. You have no idea because people only find out. when the, the fuck around and find out doesn't equal... I drop the megaton hammers, it equals, you don't mean nothing to me. The shit that I do is meant in friendship. So people found that out. They're like, whoa, because I've seen like, like this was a while back because I don't watch this stuff anymore, but I've seen people after they've basically pushed me too far and they're like, yo, he just 
he just politely told me we're done and that was it. And then he never spoke to me again. And that's it. I ain't wasting my life or my time on anybody who ain't worth it. So you ain't got to worry, man. The fact that I the 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 fact that I made these jokes are an indicator that everything's all good. It's all good. But no, I don't, I don't have a recommendation for any of the commander decks, really, you know? I didn't look at the lists of them or whatever. Ugh. Fucking gross. <sighs> the worst part of a sore throat is when the section between your nose and throat starts burning when you close your mouth. It sucks. Yeah, man. I feel you. I feel you. Last The last stream we did, my throat hurt so much by the time we were done. Like, it took a little while for it to kick in. <clears throat> Play the commander deck that makes you attack people based on whether they ate your sandwich last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what up, super duper? Bro, I, I'd bang a chicken if it would cure this shit, son. Uh, get tuss You know what, man? I don't know if I've ever had Robitussin. I've got... um. I got some Advil cold and sinus pills. TJ Longhair, you find it funny? We pay to essentially get sick, but when we actually get sick, we hate it. Bro, what kind of shit weed are you getting? What are you talking about? What are you smoking fucking parts of the road or something? Like if I have, if I have some edibles or something, man, they don't make me feel sick. I don't like feeling sick. I don't like, I, I'm not looking to induce it to, to myself. So stop hating yourself, bro. Like don't, don't you have people who rely on you? Don't you have people who fucking rely on you, bro? <clears throat> Just what? Who gives a fuck that you had bronchitis in 2010? I don't. I'd ask what the hell you said that for, but I know your brain's broken, so it don't matter. The one where you have to roll a die to see who you attack. Yep, there's another way to play, Commander. Gotta spread it around. Oh, I tickled your sack for one. Now I gotta flick your sack for two. You're just saying you don't get sick? I don't fucking care. You fucking numpty idiot. Hi, I'm sick. I don't get sick. Oh, well, I hope that you fucking get shot or something. So I can be like, I don't get shot. You see? I'll remember to, I'll remember that's the kind of response that you need to hear whenever something bad happens to you. Right? Like, fuck's sakes, dude. clayton has got her chest. You're too dumb to know when you're sick. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Maz, drinking hot honey tea helps a sore throat. See, now that's the advice you take. Because this lady's had a whole bunch of unwashed, dirty dicks down her throat. So you, she knows what it's like to have a sore throat. When she's not singing her god-awful music that makes the band split up, she's getting railed by randos. <laughs> Railed by randos. The Maz story. Get yourself tested, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jess, you've been shot in the balls by a paintball. <laughs> That's funny. DJ Longhair says, when you get some funds, try some wonton soup from a good Chinese restaurant or have it delivered. Listen, you don't get to fucking tell me what to do. Especially when you're not the one even giving me the money, right? I don't... It's, no. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Man. Yeah, the first night I was so dried out. It hasn't been as bad. This thing has been helping. Wait. That tripped me out. I pointed back towards it, but it's way back there. But my finger connected with something over here. So for a second, I thought I was 
reaching way further back than I was in a complete denial of reality. Pierce, you've been shot in the sack from five feet away too? What's wrong with you guys, man? Why are you guys going places where you can get shot in the sack with paintballs? You were a building's length away? I mean, well, I mean, I get it, bro. I've just I've seen the things you could say. I see why people would take the opportunity to nut shot you. One, to get you back for being dumb, and two, to make sure that you never can procreate, right? Like, if they smash your balls hard enough with the paintballs, then they can save mankind the possibility that there won't be any more of your genetic line in the future, right? It's all good, long hair. You know I know, man. I'm just going to fucking bust your balls, because that's what I'm doing. Snuck up on your boss, he spun and fired even though he was tagged out. Sounds like you got tagged out, bro. Play a game where even when you're out, you can get shot in the sack. That shows your priorities. I guess I should expect it from the people who come to this stream. Bunch of fucking... Nope, that's not the word. Come on, brain. And not a bunch of misogynists. That's not the right word. Masochists, that's the one. That's the one. Jess, you already got a chick pregnant? That poor woman. Fuck, do bad things ever happen to my sack? Yeah, it has to fucking sit here in this chair and listen to me read out stupid fucking questions like that, bro. Bad things ever happen to my ball bag? Yeah, it became the fucking center of the goddamn conversation on a live stream. That sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? You want to fucking count the hairs on my ball bag, bro? Freestyle says I used to singe my ball fro for the lulls. What the fuck do you think this is? Secret confessions, man? What the fuck? Okay, don't rant, man. Keep it. Keep it chill. Don't rant. Don't rant. You can't. Your voice can't handle it. These motherfuckers. Burning your own fucking ball hair. Probably huffing the smoke from it too, you fucking degenerate. Perp sack has brain damage from this conversation. Fucking one of my nuts is smarter than this entire chat, bro. You saw someone smoke a bowl of pubes when they lost a bet. What, were you fucking watching yourself in the mirror while you did it? I know that kind of... That's like, I have a friend who did this. Yeah, the friend's name is Millmaster, right? Anybody who does that when they lost a bet, they just wanted to do it. They just wanted to do it. That's the reality. You're just looking for an excuse to smoke pubes. You fucking weirdo. Not a good idea. On multiple levels. One of which, people don't fucking shampoo and condition their fucking, their ball bag hair, bro. A man can be his own friend. I mean, your case, he's gotta be, right? I see the things you say. I assume your fucking wife stays with you for the community service, you know? Like, just keeping you off the streets and away from the fucking normal people. That bitch deserves a fucking medal of honor. <clears throat> Pierce, the shit's cracking you up tonight. Thanks for the laughs. Why are you being a pussy and censoring the word shit, bro? In the fucking chat, no less. The chat doesn't even carry over to live stream being uploaded. What do you think fucking Jesus is going to get mad because you fucking put the I in the word shit, man? Jesus made the alphabet. Like, didn't you know that? He made all the letters. So if you don't use them like that, that goes against him. So don't be like that. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking disgusting, man. Ugh. 
habit having kids around. What? Do you think if you put an asterisk in your word shit that they... The kids aren't going to... Bro, your kids have access to the internet, right? How old are they? If your kids are older than four, they've probably seen a bunch of ladies ball holes and stuff on the internet and people getting stabbed and shit. So if you think you're saving your fucking kids by putting an asterisk in your word, they're just going to... It's that. Trust me, that doesn't do nothing, bro. My mom was like, oh, we got to not swear around our kids and like, don't swear to my dad and stuff. Right? And my mom told me, you don't even say somebody's weird. You say they're different. Look at that fucking turned out. Look at that turned out. Look at the way I talk. Keep it up. Fuck around and find out, man. Those kids will only speak in swear words. You should go to them right now and say, Daddy, sorry. I'll shit in your mouth if that's what it takes to make you good people. What does that word mean, Dad? You just learned today. Hey, Thompson Wells, I would give you a more profound yelling response to joining the membership if I was in a state to. But I raise my peppermint tea to you. You're my fucking sweet peppermint patty tonight. Thanks for joining as a beefly hatch, a beef, a beefy hatchling. That's a step above, son. But yeah, you can just go on Twitter and like on some random post where somebody's just like, I like the new Powerpuff Girls. And then like two posts down, you'll be like, check out this Powerpuff. And it's some black lady fucking flexing her anus like a starfish in this one nature video I saw. You can't protect your kids, Pierce. You can't, you can't protect them. It's impossible. Your kids are going to get corrupted and then they're going to die. It's like the Lion King. It's the circle of life, but your kids are Simba, but they're not going to cry when the wild, when the wildebeests stample you. Stample. <laughs> uh, Thompson, you thought you had already joined, so you went ahead and joined. Maybe you're getting the channels switched up, right? Because we're on Hatcher tonight. Google, it was a nature video. Listen, motherfucker, we went all the way to the goddamn science center and we watched this thing on the fucking IMAX wall. And it fucking the most the most memorable part was this starfish that was fisting. It was fisting its own anus mouth like constantly. And it's very, very memorable. Very memorable. That's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. You can tell by the the types. <laughs> Buck says, Lord of your bean. Buck Bubik says, Lord of your bean bag. <laughs> I guess the board's a bean bag. A bean bag. <clears throat> For real though, man, that fucking that that starfish that fists its own mouth, ask Carly. I'm not making that shit up. I'm not making that shit up. Oh, hold on. I got to change the name, too. Maz. Not natural geographics. All right. Buck doesn't like boobs. When he sees them, he says ick. But I don't. I don't. Listen, Juggalum, you old sack of crap. You just had a fucking birthday, and if you want to have another, you better watch how you fucking talk to me, son. You best watch what you fucking say. Uh, uh. This tea's alright, man. I'm gonna run out of it, though. I'm gonna run out of it. You know what? I'm going to get some more because I'm going to need this. I'm going to need more to keep going. Hold up. I'll be right back.
All right. Uh, uh. What, Maz, I don't need to know about your hot titty towels or whatever the hell you're talking about. What up, Ash Mead? How am I feeling? Sick, bro. Oh, Bow Falcon, Amazon affiliate link. Oh, okay, by popular demand. Here you go. I should have done this before I left. Don't be a dink. Use my Amazon link. When Hatchet goes for a drink, bookmark that Amazon link. That's all you get. You don't get the full one tonight. That's it. And to anybody who's watching this and has been using my Amazon link, thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Is that volcano thingy just a humidifier? Yeah. What else would it fucking be? What do you think? That's fucking cranking weed into this room? The fuck, man? What else could it possibly be? Well, no, it's also it's also my fucking modem, bro. Not only it's also it's also my modem. Stop it. Oh. Right, there we go. Uh, Thompson, you're packing to head to German on Wednesday? Oh, you're going all over the place. What are you, like some kind of fucking terrorist or something? Is that what's going on? Are you a fucking terrorist? I just like history. Yeah, you like making people history. You fucking terrorist Anders Blade this man is a sicko why you gotta call me out like that Holmes oh no man not little boy not if, if the title was about you it would have said this little bitch is a sicko <laughs> you're, you're lower of the board buddy Oh, sorry we haven't been able to hang out as much because I've been sick, guys. Bo Falcon, why are you always so nice, man? Why are you always so nice to everybody? What's your fucking problem? Do you do you kill hookers and that's why you're nice to everybody? Because you think it balances it out? I just want you to know that no matter how many people you're nice to, Bo Falcon, you're still going to hell, dude. I know it. You know it. And no amount of false pleasantries and live streams 
will ever change that. <laughs> Anders Blade, all I do is sit behind the camera. I'm a lazy slob being sick is no excuse. I don't just sit behind the camera. Sometimes I'm in front of the camera fucking your mom and put it on the internet, right? So I'm not behind the camera all the time. I am when I'm filming your mom getting railed by a team of s gross homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why my mom has an only fans <laughs> oh, that's funny but fuck you I am sick you son of a bitch oh Jess it's not my fault I'm sick yeah I don't know man I, I figured the sheer amount of people that we we're exposed to if I'm being real when we were out in Niagara Falls I didn't spend enough time making sure before I eat to like when you go into a restaurant get settled in go to the washroom wash your hands we went to like buffets and stuff in a tourist city where there was a bunch of people with stupid kids and the one the one waitress our waitress was a plague bearer this set Carly right off she's beside us fucking coughing and stuff man so yeah I, I would say that there's a I'm a little bit I'm a little bit responsible I guess. Hey Anders Blade yeah, it's beefy hatch it's I can't even say it it's beefy hatchling night. Anders Blade was I raised in a bubble I fucking wish then I wouldn't be able to hear none of your dumb shit. Right? Never got sick from eating at a restaurant. Yeah, probably because you've never eaten in a restaurant because no one would fucking dine with you, right? You ate dirt as a kid. You probably ate literal shit as a kid because you were a fucking circus carny, probably eating whatever fell out of the elephant's butts. Got to get your fucking peanut protein somehow, right? <laughs> what? Listen, Med, why would why would you think that I... That doesn't even make sense, bro. If my guts were pure liquid, why would I be here? What, you think I'm wearing a fucking diaper? <laughs> that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. You grew up on a farm. Oh, running back, back, running, running, uh, running backwards in a cornfield. Right? With your pants off? Farm boy style? Is that, what, is that what we're talking about? That's that game Cornhole, right? Where you try and get the bean bags in your hole by running backwards through a cornfield? What up, lasagna? How's it going, buddy? John, when you're sick, it's the body detoxing? Well, I am pure, pure toxin. Med, you're trying to make a joke chill. First of all, jokes aren't welcome here. Secondly, I've never been chill in my life. Everybody knows it. We don't do jokes here. This is a fucking serious place where we do scholarly shit. Like, we're going to Germany to fucking... Uh, well, we're going to Germany. That's that's what, that's what that's what matters. And if you know, I'm glad that I'm not like you then, man. I don't get, I don't get the runs from being sick, thankfully. Everyone responds differently to stuff. It's not like I haven't been insanely sick in the past and had intestinal distress, but thank God it hasn't been like this at all. No, no. It's like um, my I'm dry inside. Like some motherfuckers just taken paper towels and crammed them into me and absorbed all the, all the liquidy essence of my body. Gross, man. Buck, what? You know, I'm not, I don't even know why I said anything in response to that. Why am I engaging with that kind of a statement? It is when someone says, to be honest, diarrhea feels nice sometimes. 
there's way too many ways that could go, bro. He could be talking about how he likes it on his face like a gentle rain on the plains of Spain. No. No. Oh, Thompson Wells, you pretentious bastard. Look at you. I'm going to see the Empress's pantaloons with cologne. Look at me. Levi, good morning. It's night, you fucking savage. It's nighttime. It's 11 o'clock at night. Whatever backwards part of the world that you're in right now, it's got it all wrong. Just so you know. Where I am is the real time. Juggle me, hope I feel better tomorrow. Me too. I got a feeling that I won't uh, be fully good, but I'm thinking that I want to do a Thunder Junction. Uh, I was thinking about doing a Thunder Junction live stream tomorrow for like Arena, right? Just like maybe doing a draft or something. I don't know. Ash me and it's morning where you are. So what? <laughs> I don't got nothing clever to say. Ugh. Who needs time when it's always now? I don't know if it's just because I'm sick or whatever, but every once in a blue moon, Jesse, say something that doesn't make me angry. Ash Mead, it's going to happen, buddy. It's going to happen. Oh, uh, no, I don't. Levi, it ain't that, buddy. It ain't that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, being able to share the Niagara Falls experience with you guys. The pictures and like all the stuff from the Fun Pass. I got a lot to say but I don't have the capability to do it the way that it deserves. And there's other stuff too. I got like, I still have the two packs from pre-release that I wanted to open with you guys on Friday night. So I've been saving stuff up. Oh. What up, Kurt? How you doing? I always read your name as Kurt Carl Storm. And I just picture like, you standing in a storm of, like, dudes named Carl. We're all just, like, flying by. What? I, I, I'm gonna be real. I just blade. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about right now. <laughs> I don't even get it. I don't even get it. <laughs> Damn it, man. Joglum says, you do a great job, Hatcher. Thanks for streaming and keeping us up to date. Class act 100%. I love that you can call me a class act after I've spent, like, the majority of the stream telling people to get fucked. <laughs> Ash, me, you're going to live, like, you can live cheaply, like, 500 bucks a month for both of you? That's fucking, that's sweet, bro. That's sweet. Zircon, I think you mean Aqua Teen Hunger Force made the name Carl for you amazing. Because Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force is fucking awesome. Still waters run deep. I want my name to be Spaghetti. <laughs> This don't matter. Nothing matters. <laughs> South Bronx paradise, baby. <laughs> well, we're all going to fucking Germany in our pantaloons. Who's ready? Who's ready for Germ Germanic pantalooning? 
Actually, Thompson hates me now for calling him pretentious. So he's not going to take us all to Germany anymore, guys. You're like a vampire buying energy of laughter. The fuck? What? Pantal Pantaleon is the name of a church in Cologne. <laughs> Highly recommend if you're ever in Cologne. Listen, I can't go to, into the church grounds because it makes my skin burn. <laughs> mm -mm. Levi, you're currently traveling in Taiwan. Oh, look at you, you're a fancy boy. There's a jazz bar with a Roman mosaic embedded in their floor. Yeah, some historical shit can be pretty cool, actually. It's neat to take in the culture and historical stuff from the past in different locations. Maz, you're going to Sydney, Australia next month? Well, I hope that you get into a boxing match with a kangaroo and it punches you right in your mouth. <laughs> I hope you get punched by a kangaroo. And I hope that nobody believes you. So that you don't even have people go, that's a cool story, and they just call you a liar. Cool medieval sites? Right on, man. I like medieval history way more than like... Um, you know, like World War stuff. Oh, I should take this off the charger. Oh, man. Is it fully charged now? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, I better put this over here so I don't spill something on it. Yeah, I remember, like, I, I don't, I like ancient history. Ancient history is cool. Modern history is not interesting to me, you know? Like the World War II stuff. It just never did anything for me. I did a presentation in high school on medieval weaponry. And I had a whole bunch of swords. Because my buddy had a sword collection. What? You can go kangaroo riding over there? I never heard that. I never heard that. Oh. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to the the Thunder Junction hitting arena because I've been playing arena hardcore. How hardcore, you ask? Um, <laughs> Bo Falcon guy. <laughs> That's funny. That's saying to Ashmi and Levi. Hope in your travels you aren't in Sydney. Get away before Maz gets there. <laughs> So, I've been playing so much Arena that with the Markov Manor Mastery Pass, it goes up to level 70. I got to level 98. What up, Neuro? The pre-release I went to was a good time. I had fun there. Although I forgot my sleeves, because I was starting to get sick and my brain was dumb. I didn't know how sick I was getting, or I might have actually not gone. But I forgot my sleeves, and because I didn't have sleeves, and I didn't want to ask to borrow them from anybody, I um, just played commons and uncommons. And I only played one match, because there, there was only three matches anyways, and it basically the prize structure was... Everyone's getting two packs. Anybody who goes undefeated gets three packs. But we knew we weren't staying for the whole thing. So I just played one match. And um, the commons and uncommons from my deck saw me through. And I managed to win. Ashmead, you're also a level 98. Nice, buddy. Doomblade, you got into Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you Okay. You don't, whatever it is that made you hate yourself and do these hurtful things to yourself, you don't have to do that. You just keep playing magic. Uh, 
Nah, Buck, the stuff is all, most of the stuff I saw about the World War, the World War stuff is American stuff from American channels. The majority of stuff on Canadian TV, we're completely subsumed by America to the point where the Canadian government had to make a law that things have to have 30% Canadian content so that we wouldn't just be 100% taken over by America. So it's just boring. I don't care. Like, tanks are only cool if you're driving around in a video game. I don't find it interesting. Pierce, you made a bad deck for the pre-release, but you got a mana drain and another $30 card. Nice. That's a score. That's sweet. It's always nice getting some valuable cards. Ashmead, in the next couple months, you want to sponsor some new arena free play videos. I was thinking about that, actually. And that's a great idea because things have changed. We talked about that. And I'm down I'm down to do it. We can, uh, we can either do them as Hatcher videos or we can do them as live streams and upload them to the archive afterwards. But that's totally doable. Jess, did you do something you can't hear anymore? Yeah, you fucking pissed God off and he finally made you deaf like you fucking deserve. You tugged it one too many times and God got angry at you pulling out your sad little wang and he said, you know what, screw it, you don't get to hear nothing anymore. Uh, Juggum, you don't watch the news because it's toxic. Yeah, a lot of the news, like, it's not really informing you of anything you can use, right? It's not uh, telling you stuff that helps you in your life. It's just like, everything sucks, bro, and you should be afraid and unhappy. Uh, wait, I'm the news. Oh, no. Oh, no, I just realized all I do is make people unhappy. Maz, that law will fail. Listen, you brain-dead idiot. That is the law here. When I said they have a law here, that means the law already exists. How the fuck? That law is going to fail. No, dummy. It fucking has existed my whole life. It's existed my whole life. So no, it's not going to fail. It's very it's very much a thing. And Americans don't get to just quash Canadian legislation. It doesn't work that way. Pierce, you don't care about anyone's opinion? Guess again, yes you do. You care about this guy's opinion and you can't pretend that you don't. <laughs> All right, Ashmead, end of May. If well, we'll figure it out, man. I won't hold you to that in case things change, because your life is tumultuous at this juncture. So we'll leave that as a tentative. This is the this is sign language for tentative. <laughs> Clayton says pan. Perps angry news. That's right. Pan sexual news. Kenzuki views or views, happy or angry. Uh I mean uh, that's not my mentality, but I mean on a fundamental level, I guess you are correct. <laughs> That's right, Pierce. I did get you. I did. Uh, news is propaganda bullshit. John, a lot of the time, you're right, bro. It absolutely is. Especially since you have, like, um, like you'll have, like, a few people who own a ton of news outlets. So they'll report things the exact same way with the exact same phrasing. Just, like, reverberating it at you. Mr. Juggles. <laughs> oh, sweet lordy. 
Oh, you know what's cool, guys, is uh, I know I normally save the mail when I when I get it to open on stream, but I got this mail last week, and I didn't want to wait because the package felt like a book, and I really wanted to know what it was. So Mountain Jam sent me this book called The Resting Places, and it is a collection of Warhammer horror stories. And I already read the first one today. And I enjoyed it, actually. This is fucking cool. It's like, it's this is like the perfect time to have it when I'm just laid out and like, I had to save up my energy to come hang out with you guys like this. Why do Canadian geese walk across the street instead of fly? Because geese are the most arrogant, arrogant beasts around, bro. Like, you don't even know. For real, you don't want to fuck with geese. Like, I remember I was on my way to the mall one day. And there was a bunch of geese on the sidewalk, right? I crossed the fucking street. I crossed the... Geese don't... They don't obey the normal laws of nature. They don't give a fuck how big you are. They will come at you. And you can get into trouble if you fuck the geese up too. So, they're like protected under law or whatever. And they're also fucking assholes. Geese are fucking dickheads. People don't even know. People don't even know. Like when they got that Hydra goose thing in um in El Drain and you're like oh that's cute that thing would fuck you to death bro like all those geese heads coming at you you don't even know geese are fucking vicious and I never want to be in a situation where I got to grab it by the neck and fucking slam it into the ground right so yeah you don't want to mess with geese especially when they're around their their little their little goslings or whatever man it, they Geese don't play, son. Geese do not fucking play. Cthulhu, yeah, you know what? Geese are the closest thing to demons that I've run into. Kenzuki, you got bit on the nose by a goose when you were eight. <laughs> a little on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> Yeah, geese are the real deal, man. You gotta watch the fuck out with those guys. <sighs> like, I like watching geese fly by and stuff. It's cool seeing them in the consummate V. Huh? Huh? You know, like... That shit's great. Turkeys aren't more vicious than mass. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Remember when Fabio got hit in the face by a goose while riding a roller coaster? I didn't remember until you brought it up, but yeah, I do. I do vaguely recall that. Life is wild, man. Raccoons are assholes. Yeah, but you can scare a raccoon off, man. They might be a little bit of a dickhead when you come at them at the trash can, but they'll fuck off if you make them. Geese will just come at you, dude. Zarkon, I don't know about magpies. Magpies will steal your shit, but I don't think they'll fucking try and fuck you up. Unless by magpies you mean crows. A bunch of crows together can be something, but geese, you, you, geese... Geese are crazy. No man says turkeys are stupid. You can literally walk up to some and grab them and snap. Yeah, I mean I've seen a bunch of footage of turkeys and people running from them and shit. I mean just kick it in the face, bro. But geese, that's a different story. Kurt, you fought a goose hand to hand when you were fourteen. You won. It was about eighteen pounds. I'm not gonna call you a liar. I'm going to call you a giant liar. <laughs> you get the you get geese all the way in Florida? Oh, Doomblade. Uh, did anybody tell you geese fly and don't respect international borders? That's why. That's why. Buck, what? Why are you letting your dogs eat crap, bro?
Grithuda Magpie is swooping in and making people lose eyes during mating season. I've made people lose eyes during mating season, right? Sometimes you just dong, it goes in the wrong hole. What are you going to do? And you were hunting and it wasn't dead when you picked it up? All right, the story becomes more believable. It becomes more believable. The Aussie crow things that dive mob. Yeah, honestly, like crows are effective. They're effective. I've watched crows drive off much bigger birds of prey. Like, you see this, I see, I'm like, look at that bird of prey. And then all of a sudden you hear these fucking crows all con. They lift up from different trees and there's squad running behind this. And now this big bird of prey is like, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here before they pull feathers out. Oh. So I'm 400 gold away from having 400,000 gold on Arena. I'm going to get the Mastery Pass tomorrow. I'm going to input my pre-release codes. All that stuff. Need those old mats like you take naps on in kindergarten, bro. Tony, everyone's posting guns with the new cards in the social pages. What? Were you saying we're nobodies because we're not doing it, Tony? Uh, Tony, I hope you get effed in the O. See what I just did with your name? That's fucking genius. Nobody's ever said that to you. Get effed in the O, Tony. Your name sounds like a, a fucking shitty, shitty low rent Italian mobster, in in a fucking story written by somebody with no imagination. Juggling, good luck with arena cards. You hope I get some good pulls. Well, thanks, thanks for wishing me a good time on arena and jerking it, bro. Both, of, I'm gonna do both powerhouse style. Jess, you figured out your sound issue. There was a glitch, glitch, and it changed inputs. That's obnoxious, man. That's happened with uh, my microphones and stuff. <clears throat> I'd enjoy the names your drill instructors came up with in basic. Yeah, man, drill instructor shit talking is a lot of fun. You know, like Buddy in Full Metal Jacket. I would make like an awesome drill instructor for the shit talking part. I'm not, uh, I'm not interested in all the rest of it. That's too much work, too much work. But the shit talking part, I got that down. It was so hard not to laugh. Yeah, you can't laugh, right? You can't laugh at it because then they're going to get upset. You're being disciplined. You can't laugh at that. Daddy's yelling. You can't snicker. <laughs> The body can create the most crazy bright neon colors, apparently. Ugh. Got fucking yellow jank coming out of my mouth. It's like, what the hell's going on, man? I'm pissing out my own mouth or something? It's pretty thick. Oh. White-tailed eagles in Florida. I, I, I don't know what a white-tailed eagle looks like, Maz, but you got me curious because I actually really like... Uh, I really like birds. Not like dicks. I mean, flipping people the bird. White-tailed eagle. Oh, look at it, man. It's swooping down and grabbing fish out of the water. That's pretty intense. Oh... There's that one bird channel me and Carly watching. He's got a video on white-tailed eagles. Right on. Not too shabby looking. I look 
Look like I need some Motrin and a nap. Yep. Ashby, that'll that that remains to be seen, buddy. That remains to be seen. If I stay sick till like the end of the week, then I'm gonna go to the doctor and see if I need antibiotics. But you can go to the doctor and they'll just be like, you don't need that. Just fucking take some uh, Advil, cold, and sinus. So you can fight the shit off on your own. I prefer to avoid taking antibiotics wherever possible because it's better for you overall. It's better for everybody overall. It results in less antibiotic resistant things wandering around the world and uh, it's just better for you overall if you can do it that way, right? So on top of that, you don't obliterate your internal microbiome. So also on top of that, I'm probably going to need I've got some medical stuff going on that I'm going to get checked out for. That Well, I've got an appointment set up for whatever. I, I can't explain it right now, but it's probably going to end up leading to me needing antibiotics anyways. Nathan, what's up, buddy? What's up? I saw your, uh, I saw your lamenting about getting like mega bombed at the pre-release and how crazy it is. <clears throat> I should meet your account ID him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Zarkon. It's not always it's not always the case that you need it. Maz, you wanna be a nurse, you recommend lots of water and rest? Those are good recommendations. Yeah, don't worry, Ashmeet. I looked up, uh, I looked up a list of like the different colors that your phlegm can be and what it can mean and whatever. Nothing that's going on with me is a go see the doctor kind of thing. So since I feel better than I did a couple days ago, and it feels like I'm getting better, whatever. But if by Friday I'm not better, I am gonna book an appointment with the doctor just to see, and then he might just tell me, nope, just wait it out. But. I don't want to waste his time either, you know? Oh, wait. Different. Oh, okay. Not you. Never mind, buddy. Never mind. I my, my brain is sick, so now that I think about it, it wasn't you. Never mind. Ugh, it's, everyone's got different names all over the place. Sometimes I get them all twisted up. too warm bro uh, let's swap it up oh, oh man man I'm hyped about Bloomboro Ah, uh, yeah, Nathan, you're hope, hoping to make it to the Bloomboro pre-release? Well, me too, buddy. It's like fucking four months from now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thanks, Juggalum. I will. I will feel better soon. Absolutely. Juggalum, I don't go in for holistic nonsense. Bro, I like real medicine. Uh... The real deal. Woo. Hopefully by the time Bloomboro rolls around, I'll have some more fucking credit over at Phoenix. Because I used the last... I used the last of what I had left for the uh, Thunder Junction pre-release. So... Whew. Man. Yo, if seal fat and maple syrup would make me feel better, I would, I would have it. I wouldn't even care, man. What else? What else? It's so fucking sweaty now, bro. Whew. 
But yeah, I had fun at the pre-release. I've been having so much fun playing Magic lately. For real. Nathan, I'm allowed to remind you about that sort of thing. Well, it's not like it's not like you're required to do it. I'm not I'm not some entitled dickhead where I'm like, yo, you need to do this thing, right? Oh, that's funny, buddy at Phoenix commented on it and he's like He's like, nothing came through for you for the pre-release. He like he seemed stunned by it actually. He's like, nobody sent anything for you for the pre-release. So and I was just like, oh, that's, that's all good, man. That's all ghosts, no worries. But he seemed like he was the one who was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Caster, my camera's not good. You are in the same room as me, bro. Blah, but you better watch out because I got the fucking plague. Time to send money for loot distribution. Oh, God. That, if you do, if you send money to the store and you mention loot, he is going to fucking, he is going to get more of them. He talked about how we thought about getting a bunch of them. And he was like, I'm going to keep this going till Christmas. And I was like, God. <laughs> Bo Falcon didn't send anything because I said some credit. Hey, it worked out. I got to do the pre-release, right? I appreciate what you guys do for me a lot. And I never want you guys to feel like I'm demanding it or I'm entitled to it. It makes me feel really nice that you guys value what I do and support me but i never want to be like i'll make jokes about it like go fuck you give me money like because that's funny but for real nobody owes me anything and i never want to seem entitled so right caster what you i don't have no fucking kids bro if I did, I'd put him in a sack and leave him by the roadside. I was never your dad, or whatever, you know? I don't remember the legal procedure to abandon your kids on the roadside, but that's what I would do. Nathan, you love the pre-release updates when I'm back? Well, the Bloomboro one's going to be hype. I'm hype for it. And I had fun at the Thunder Junction one, bro. No sleeves, no rares in my deck. Played black-blue. And the deck worked really well. Had a lot of good synergy. <laughs> Doomblade. We definitely owe you some loot. Get out of it. <laughs> He's right over there. He's right over there. Ashmead, you got smoked in a Lost Caverns draft? I looked at it. I thought about playing in it, but... I I ain't firing on all cylinders. Wow. Did you hear that? That noise? It was crazy. Zero sum. It wasn't in my intention. I wanted to bring sleeves. Oh. Here. You know what, Nathan? You didn't hear about the pre-release shit. So let me, let me make you laugh, bro. Look at this shit. Before... Before I... I, I come back. Go to Phoenix. And he, there's a bag. It says, here's your Thunder Junction loot bag. With an actual loot in it. And I lost it. I lost it, bro. I started ranting. He loved it. It made him so happy seeing me ranting. He's got this thing going on now where if you send if you send money to the game store and you mention loot, he's going to keep picking these up and on his own dime. He's not going to take it out of the money that you send. He's going to buy loots with his own money and keep giving them to me. And so... When I was at the fucking tournament, when I was at the pre-release, in front of everybody, in front of everybody, he goes, the Magic Historian's here, and he's happy to sign any loot cards you get. And I was like, no, I will not. I yelled, no, I will not. And then I asked who at the store wanted to help me burn the place down. So, do you know what he does? Do you know what he does? He, he fucking made this. He made this. He made this. He printed it out. He taped it to the fucking register, bro. I walk up to the front of the store. He's having his best fucking day. He's having his best fucking day. He's just like, eh, look at this. Me and Loot are the fucking BFFs. Like, he, my reaction. He described every moment of my reaction when I saw the Loot to the long-suffering sigh, all of it. 
all of it. So yeah, I didn't even bother tearing it off the fucking thing because I know we just print another one and tape it right back up and I wouldn't be surprised if it was still there. I wouldn't be surprised if it was still fucking there when I go back next time, man. You gotta lean into it to make it go away. What? So, like, how Mox Man had the most Mox Ambers, you're gonna have the most loots? Well, it depends. If you guys fucking send them money over and mention loot and shit, then yeah, I am probably gonna be the guy with the most loots. Ugh. Take a picture of him in the car to make it a commander partner. <laughs> make it a t-shirt, oh my god, freestyle. If somebody put this image on a t-shirt and send it to me, I would probably wear it to the fucking store. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. And then if anyone's like, I like loot, I'd be like, loot fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. All right, you know what? I'm going to, because the idea has been put out there and you never know what's going to happen. Uh, let me figure out where the picture is and I'll put it in the fucking discord. I will put it if you guys want it Maz you don't have to screenshot it. you can if, just for anybody who wants the picture even forget the t-shirt part if you just want the picture ah here it is okay uh, alright let's pop it into the discord alright there you go he went on my Instagram and he took a picture of me happily standing beside T and he turned it into this abomination Uh, all right, Mill Master, it's in the Discord, bro. Need a picture of you and a pile of loot stuffies. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring like, if I end up with, I'll bring them all to the next pre-release. <laughs> all to the next pre-release. <laughs> Can we make it some sleeves? Oh my god, that's fucking brilliant! I didn't think about that. Sleeves, playmat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Zero, that's hilarious. That's funny. Oh, man. Whew. Like, you have no idea how happy this made him. You have no idea. He was like, he was on what he realized he was on the wrong youtube account when he saw the stream so he's switching over the youtube account going please please let me make it in time and he made it just in time for me to see because i was not expecting this little fucking abomination oh <sighs> Nathan, after what you said, now I'm picturing my face in like an entire sea of them. But I'm just like... Sleeves and playmat of me wearing the shirt. I feel like if you go that far, the detail level would be lost, don't you think? Like, if that's in the middle of a t-shirt, push them together, put them on the glass. Um... If that was like in the middle of a shirt, right? And then that is in the middle of a sleeve. You know what I mean? Like you only got this much real estate. So standing, then it's going to be like this tiny little thing. Although I suppose if you have the shirt on, it could work. It could work. Make it on the back of skin tight hot pants. Yo. I have a nice ass. You have no idea. Like I could wear, I could wear like fucking leggings and you'd be like, look, like I bet you that I could fucking fool dudes into thinking that it was a lady's sweet butt for real. You know, one of those when their guys is checking out this chick's ass in like some leggings and then it turns around and it's a dude. I could do that. I could do that. The magic sweet cheek story. <laughs> I got it. I got a fucking generous booty, son. 
Zircon, you hope you didn't cause too much pain. What do you mean? Loot distribution fund has been started. Be warned, here's something to ease the pain. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I'll just let the sickness take me away. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just give up to it tonight and sweetly go into the void. Look, look, just rubbing my face and thinking about it. I'm getting red in the middle, man. Oh, all right. Well, you're Lord of the Board, Zircon. Oh God. This is gonna get stupid, isn't it? Oh, well, this is what I fucking signed up for, isn't it? I became an internet jackass, and this is my fucking life now. Zircon taking both parts of the board tonight. All right. You're lording it, son. Thanks for easing my pain, son. I would do well in the Philippines... What? I'm not going to be a fucking ladyboy or whatever, bro. Speaking of ladyboys, RNG Gaming says butts. Butts. There's some fucking hot ladyboys, man. Where you see them and you're like, whoa. Like, for real, for real. I got to respect it sometimes. Where you're just like, there's the one guy I went to school with. I went to school with him. And uh, he switched over to being a fucking lady after we were going to school. And I saw him in like a Tim Hortons. And I was like, damn, you make a fucking good lady. Like he had fucking pretty eyes. His legs looked fucking great. I was like, those are some fucking good gams. For real, for real. I've seen some real fucking real tricks. Ball Falcon. No, I think I think what Zircon was saying was that he he sent to Phoenix. And then, and then, uh, he sent me that to ease the pain of what he just did to me. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. There's the confirmation. Zircon's confirming it. He's confirming it. cooking bro I'm cooking Whew. zero sum says even when perp is sick he's still funnier than most live streams hey thanks buddy Nathan's membership message has gotta run good night have a good one buddy have a good one Whew. Zircon, what did you say? What did you say in the message to him? I want to know what you said. Cerberus, you wish loot had a better origin story than Thunder Junction because you like the card? Fair enough. I would, I would be far less... Actually, if loot wasn't like the key to everything and the main thing for the story and the grand reveal wouldn't trigger me nearly as hard but when they go this is the key to everything of the follow-up story set to thunder junction which had a garbage story that made no sense and then they go oh by the way we've got the toys ready right away like it's just it's so forced and i hate it you know <clears throat> Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> All right, Sir Khan. <laughs> All right, yep, that'll definitely do it. I will. I, I'm. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send Buddy at Phoenix an angry Facebook message. Going, look what you fucking done. I have to admit, he did a good job of memeing on me with it. He really did. I wasn't expecting loot to be in that bag at all. I thought it was just going to be some knockoff stuffy that was there to kind of mock the concept. So I wasn't expecting the real one. And then him making that declaration to everybody at the event of who I was and that I would sign the cards. And then the whole plan to get more. It's fucking ridiculous. Oof. All right. Uh, I should get going. Sounds like my fucking, my uh, humidifier agrees with the gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. I might have pushed it a little too far. Anyways, thanks for coming and hanging out, my friends. I appreciate it. It's nice to uh, get to hang out. You know, I missed it the last couple days, so... Thanks for being here. I'm going to go and, and fucking uh, rest up. And I think tomorrow afternoon I'm probably going to do like a Thunder Junction stream on this channel, depending on how it goes. Whew. So yeah, it's time for me to go. Thanks, guys. Have yourselves uh, good days and all that. And uh, I, I submerge into the waters of doom and death. 